Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello and welcome to The One Who Seeks. Where you are the one who seeks. Okay, so it's been a little while. Moving around a lot. Everything's packed up. Pack it up, take it out, pack it up, take it out. So, I'm just gonna do a quickie. This is going to be a reading for the collective. And what we need to know today Do a two card spread and invite in the angels, <clears throat> only those of loving spirit. It's jumping out. Kind of reminds me of the the Beauty and the Beast. We have these candles here and teacups and the rose. This is a purple rose. <clears throat> May you're finding love in something that's not so beautiful. And others can't understand it. All right. And we have the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> So the Three of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> so first thing I notice here is this clock. And I was just going through all of my grandma's old soul collages and she has clocks in every single one. She's a big clock lover. I remember being in her house and listening to the 800 clocks ticking all at once. And if I were to hear that now, I'd probably not be able to sleep. But back in the day when I stayed the night with my grandma, it was pretty soothing. We have this big eyeball here. Looks like it's <clears throat> ready to go out on the town. Be some sort of a showcase. We have this, um, so a string of pearls here. Somebody getting ready to go somewhere. It has some sort of date maybe. Um, it is three o'clock on there. 
Are you just starting to get ready for it? It's going to be a dinner date. And you're really hoping that this is going to grow into something that you can display, but you really have to keep your eyes open. You've been single for so long. <clears throat> and you want to pair up. You want to become part of this vase. Share a home with someone. Your open arms about this. But you're really keeping a watchful eye. <clears throat> Something about it coming to life. Beauty and the Beast, the candlestick, and the teacup. And amongst other things, other characters, all came to life. It was very magical because of this rose, but it wasn't always pretty. You know, the whole baseline of it is about a spell. Um, of a prince who didn't have compassion. And this witch wanted to teach him a lesson, so she turned him into a beast. And made all of his items in this house come to life. Until Belle showed up one day. And she definitely was scared of him at first. He was very harsh and cruel and mean. But she could see over time that he actually had a really good heart underneath all of it. <coughs> and I keep choking. Maybe you're having a hard time speaking about something. You're all choked up. Don't know what to say. Can't get it out. It's stopping you. But eventually, she ends up falling in love with the beast. And seeing his true beauty, beauty from underneath. Looks like we're on um, some sort of a lily pad here. All right, we just did the water lilies with Pisces. There's a lot of emotions that are hidden here. <clears throat> There's uh, illusions. Are you seeing that right? Is that teapot talking to me? Doesn't feel real. Gonna shine the light. So I want to know about this other person. Who is this other person that you're going on this date with? That seems so unbelievable. You're kind of initially turned off by them. Maybe they've been asking you out for a while and you're, you kept saying no. And finally you decided to say yes. <clears throat> mm hmm. You have the Two of Cups. These up here. It's about unity. 
This is an emotional attachment. <clears throat> this is what you're looking for. This is the, the unity that you want. This person has a lot of energy. You are emotionally attracted to them. You guys talk a lot. You share your feelings with each other. You know, maybe you've been hanging around in the, the same area, same friend group. Maybe you work together. This is somebody that you've already been around and already kind of have a feeling about. Right, just this energy here. Talk about your emotions. Okay, this person is releasing some old emotions, you know, because you're talking about this, it is being released, and this person has really been helping you, right? Just like these <clears throat> inanimate objects who are alive have been helping the beast. This beast is helping you to become more open, to be, become more free. To really feel things, to have like an out-of-body experience, right? This is a, that illusion there, right? Is this real? This can't be real. I, I'm imagining this. But it is happening. All right, they're leading you to a new situation. All right, they're helping you get out of something that's not serving you. And they're leading you to safety. They're protecting you. They're guiding you. Maybe this is something that <clears throat> either others are judging you because of this, or you're judging yourself, or you're releasing the judgment on this other person. Maybe you're going to move in with this person. You have your suitcase here, you're ready. You're feeling a little apprehensive about it. I'm not quite sure if that's the right direction, but you know this energy you know how this person makes you feel. Okay. They're teaching you things. Um, they're very stable. They're emotional. They share their emotions with you. But this is a challenging relationship at the same time. There's a light in the dark. To weigh out your pros and your cons. <clears throat> That's what this date is all about. Figure out if you want to move forward with this person. I 
and have love. Yeah, there might be a lot of heavy emotional weight here because we have all these cups here stacked up on top of each other. And this person is helping you release that and they're separating these cups and filling them. And this is a little bit scary for you, but you're open to it. You want this to grow. You want to have this foundation. You want to spend your time with this person. Okay. Give them a chance. Open up your feelings. Have great conversation. Mm -hmm. Alright, and so... Uh, I'm going to use these joking hazard cards. It's actually a game, but, you know, I like to use games <clears throat> as my cards all the time. So, um, let's see what comes out. All right, so it looks like we got um, play fighting, maybe. This person looks like they have like a baseball bat and is spinning this person around, right? Hitting you hard, spinning you around, right? Maybe this is feeling of love is hitting you hard and spinning you around. So you're kind of unsure of which direction you're going into. <clears throat> maybe you're just love struck, but you feel like maybe you logically shouldn't be. But your heart is telling you something else. <laughs> this person likes your tits. They think you are sexy. They are attracted to you. I feel like you are a very nurturing person. You feed their soul. Oh yeah, prove it, right? Prove your love for me. I'll believe it when I see it. This doesn't feel real. It feels like you're manipulating me in some sort of way. You know, you have me under a spell. You drugged me. Things aren't real. <laughs> Seems backwards. Let's see, what is that? Hmm? Directions. There are no directions to this. We're going to throw the directions out. Directions don't mean anything when it comes to using your, your emotions and your heart. It's not logical. You have to feel it out. You have to use your intuition. Fake it till you make it. Make up your own rules. I rage up Mount Crushmore 24-7, 365. Not really sure what these are. These look like maybe like bear faces or something. Uh, they're very weird looking. Okay, right, like the beast. Very weird looking. <clears throat> but this is like Mount Rushmore where have the four presidents carved into stone. You have 
four beasts here carved into stone. And it's floating in the universe, right? Because this is a spell. This is not really concrete. This is not grounded. You know, the rage of the beast. All right. When you party with Humpty Dumpty and you slip off the wall, don't fret because we all take big falls. Every ascending airplane will eventually land so it can feel up and take off again. Every significant summit starts deep in a valley and it can take weeks to hit the next peak. But if you keep your chinny chin up and move forward proudly, you'll beast up Mount Crushmore faster than you think. And this is about taking a chance on this person. Being careful. You don't want to fall off this wall, right? But it's a learning experience. Sometimes you need to fall in order to get back up. To have a better understanding of something. So that next time you could be more careful. All right, get on a different plane. Go somewhere different. Refuel it, re-energize it, give it new energy. It take weeks to hit the peak. You know, we got hit this guy hitting you, spinning you around. So, you know, it might take more than one date. Maybe it's going to take three dates for you to open up, for you to get on that plane. Just keep moving forward. Don't worry about it too much. Okay, you'll break through to this beast. All this emotional feeling. And then I got, I am my own source of happiness. My relationships are a bonus. You have a, a pearl. Yeah, this is created over time. Just like this ridge, this mountain is created over time. This is not something that's instantaneous. Like I said, you probably have known this person for a while and you're just now starting to see this person in a different light. You know, this started off as a grain of sand that was irritating. And this mucus, right? The mucus of my throat that keeps choking me is actually creating this pearl. That's going to be something that's very beautiful. Always move into a relationship by choice. Never allow internal voids to push you into a relationship in an attempt to fill a tiny hole. No pun intended. Never enter into a relationship because you want to be loved. The magic begins during the hunt inside yourself. Your partner is a bonus, a companion in your own journey, right? So it's these cards right here, literally. You know, filling these holes. The void. Uh, compatible and thrilling, but never your source of happiness. Happiness is self-love, soul searching, filling yourself with compassion and understanding what truly makes your heart beat. Unconditional internal self-love is unconditional external love for your relationships and the world, right? 
the judgment judgment card. Okay, this is how you look on the outside, tethers. This is how you feel on the inside. You are surrendering. Inside you are free. Right? You have to love yourself in order to love another person. Maybe either you or this other person has gone through a transformation. Okay, maybe both of you have gone through a transformation. Okay, that is your reading for today. Have fun on your date. Open yourself up. And see what happens. Thank you for being here with me. I thank the angels for being here with us, and protecting us always, and guiding us on our journeys. If you like this content please share like and subscribe so others can get the same benefit it really helps out my channel thank you for being here at one who seeks what are you seeking I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading if you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.